We're going to do a live lecture. I'm in my DAT group right now, and we just finished doing conjugated systems, and I want to do one problem that I think you'll enjoy. If you take a look on the board, I want to go from cyclohexane into 1,4-dibromocyclohexane. So what we want to do is we want to use a lot of the steps that we learned in the last two classes. The first thing I'm going to do, as you guys can see, now the students that are in my group, you have it in front of you. This is for the students that are not part of the group. I'm going to do a radical substitution. So I'm going to use bromine light, and that's going to brominate the cyclohexane ring. Then I'm going to do an E2 reaction using sodium methoxide and ethanol with plenty of heat. I use a lot of heat because I don't want to have too much of the SN2 competition. Once I got the E2 product, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with NBS peroxide and heat, and that does an allylic bromination. For the big shots in the group, I just wrote plus minus because where the bromine is landed, you generated a chiral carbon. Now, this is where it gets to be a thinking man's game. If you notice that these bromines are in the 1-4 position. Normally, when you put on bromines, they come in the 1-2 position. So the question is, how the hell am I going to get a 1-4 bromination? What I did now is I'm going to heat this up with a very strong hindered base, such as sodium um, T-butoxide. And what that's going to do, it's going to take off the bromine and the H and do a very clean E2. Instead of using sodium methoxide or sodium methoxide, I'm going to take a really strong, big, bulky base. That will prevent me from doing any SN2 competition. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. So the first thing I needed to do is to get to my dying I'm going to do a 1-4 addition. And if you remember, to do a 1-4 addition, you got to have heat, right? So that would be a big deduction if this was a big exam and you forgot the heat. Because if you don't do heat, then you would have the 1-2 competition. So this gives me the 1-4 product. And as you can see, the bromines are right where we want it. Hydrogen and platinum does the job to finish it off. I hope that gives you guys a really good chance. Um, to understand the mechanics of how I did a synthetic procedure. For the rest of my group, um, we'll continue on tonight doing the deals all the reaction. If you want to take a look over there, there's my boy, Jimmy Goldstein. You know, <laughs> front, front row, front seat, where all the top kids sit. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye, everyone.